Liverpool was a small port after the English Civil War in the middle of the 17th century. To load or unload, small ships had to beach at low tide or tie up at a short quayside. In 1715, this all changed with the building of the wet dock, the first of its kind. This meant that much larger ships could enter the dock at high tide and then load or unload while still afloat, even when it was a low tide outside. This transformed Liverpool's economy, making it a major international port. Liverpool has a long history of maritime science. In 1845, the Mersey Docks and Harbour Board set up an observatory at Waterloo Dock to provide weather, tides and chronometer information to ship's captains. And in 1866, the observatory moved to Bidston. In 1919, Professor Joseph Proudman established the University of Liverpool's Tidal Institute and ten years later it relocated to join Bidston Observatory with Proudman assuming responsibility. This was the start of the National Oceanography Centre as we know it today. Another notable director of the observatory was Arthur Dudson. A major part of his work was the development of tide prediction machines also known as Kelvin machines. These machines are a form of analog computer. Around 33 were built worldwide, of which 10 are associated with Dudson. The machines were used for predicting the tides for a variety of purposes around the globe. The smaller of the machines displayed in here was used to predict the tide for the D-Day landings in Normandy on the 6th of June 1944. Tides are caused by the gravitational forces of the moon and, to a lesser extent, the sun. Each of the machine's dials is a different size and spins at a different speed. When the wheels go round together, this gives the tidal height and the times of the tide at a specific location. The people who operated the machines were known as computers before the term had its modern meaning. Valerie Dudson, seen here with Phil Woodworth, is the daughter-in-law of Dr Dudson. Valerie operated these machines at Bidston for many years. Phil Woodworth joined Bidston in the early 1980s as a scientist and he has devoted his career to working on tides and sea level. Our scientists continue to advance the measurement and monitoring of ocean tides, both at the coast and in the deep ocean. Modern computers have allowed the development of numerical models of tides and other ocean processes, for example, storm surges, ocean circulation and climate variability. At the National Oceanography Centre this work continues and the interest in ocean tides is as strong as ever.